There's no music. There's no illegal videos. No illegal photos. None of that bullshit. That pretty much has apparently been putting a stoppage on the very love, very, very illegitimate bastard child that I call TLC. Now, apparently, I need to do this the hard way. So, I have been nice. I have been cordial and I've been in some way understandable about the fact that Facebook and YouTube are both afraid of getting sued, afraid of having Dr. Dre come in their offices and put a cap in their ass or Eminem drive by with one of his guns and unload it just to pistol whip them. I get the fact that Everybody on this planet has no fucking balls anymore. This is not me raising my voice. My voice is officially the way this is right now because I am sick and tired of the bullshit going on with all of you sorry bastards. Oh, wah. A music mogul enterprise is going to get pissy. You think Jay-Z is going to come walking through my door to slap the shit out of me because I actually use Empire State of Mind? Oh, oh, oh shit, oh shit. I just actually mentioned, mentioned one of his songs. And I think the whole world's about to sit here and come trashing out on me. Let me make it as nicely as possible. Nobody is going to come to Colorado... Or wherever TLC pretty much ends up next. That is going to come here and kick my ass because I happen to sit here and do a little use use their photos or their videos or their music to basically try to create my own image of the sports world. TLC has been around for many years. And it's because of the fans. It's always been because of the fans. It's always been by the fans. And the fans have made it simple. They want someone to step up, man up, and say what's on his mind. We're not going to kiss ass like those jerk-offs up north, north and fucking ESPN. We're not going to sugarcoat it. Like those jackass, jackass, jerk off, jack wagon douche sacks from World Wrestling Entertainment. The one thing that I have enjoyed about TNA has been the very fact that, yes, they may be regurgitating old storylines from WCW and the World Wrestling Federation. Yeah, I said it. What? You think a panda's going to come in here and try to maul my ass? It ain't going to happen. So many things have occurred, transpired over the entire course of TLC's existence. And the one thing that has stuck out the most for me is the very fact that when I look around and see everybody, I see all these shows that have come and gone and I have still stuck to my guns. Only to be penalized by Facebook because Mark's fucking douchey douchey, wishy-washy, Gundam-style fuckerberg has no balls to step up and say, hey, you know what? Let this man go crazy because it might actually, his controversy might actually create cash for me. No, he won't think about that because he's a fucking moron. This guy made billions of dollars off of somebody else's idea and now he doesn't have the balls to actually say, hey, let somebody else sit here and make and make the name for themselves off of my shit. I get Facebook is your love child, love child, Marky Mark. But unfortunately, you exposed this to the world. You gave this to us. You wanted us to do this. But yet now you don't want to sit here and enjoy the consequences of your fuck up. Which the biggest one of all, obviously, is, oh, I don't know, the fact that you actually think that talking to people... It's such a bad thing. I challenged you. I challenged you for the past seven months to show me a reason why Facebook is still the shit. So far, you fucked up, buddy. Now you're trying to basically force people to pay? To pay for Facebook? To pay to sit here and actually talk? I was actually banned from Facebook for a month. 
because I send a friend request to some of my old colleagues, some of my old writing buddies, some of my old high school running mates. Let me tell you, your motherfucker, something. You don't know my life. You haven't lived my life. Zuckerberg, I've been Dawson since that pretty much you haven't pretty much ever, ever had to sit here and have to literally duck from a drive-by shooting. I guarantee your ass is not, has not lived in a cardboard box. And I damn sure guarantee you didn't have to start from the bottom. Which brings me to the obvious issue. The obvious issue here is not the fact that I decided to challenge the great powerful maestro of Facebook. The problem is, is that I actually have the balls to say the words, fuck you, to us, one of the most powerful men on the planet. Just because you got a big ass wall doesn't mean squat, buddy. Go ahead, sue me. Sue me for what? I'm black, broke, hell. I'm, the, I'm pretty much the man who's resurrected toothless aggression, asshole. What the fuck do you think you can do to me, Marcus? Nothing. And that brings me to YouTube. You guys had the stroke. You guys had a great idea to sit here and say, hey, you guys are okay with the concept of people sitting here showing reactions from people watching Two Girls, One Cup. But the very moment that somebody sits here and takes an idea, runs with it, creates it, makes it gorgeous, makes somebody else's shit look ten different kinds of better, you're pissed about it. I'm sorry to disappoint you, you two, but I was doing this shit a lot longer than you guys have. This has been my life. This has been my dream. This has been my shit. For the longest time, I made myself a primetime player. And I did it. I didn't do it with a big-ass fucking backing. I didn't do it with pretty much somebody else's money. I did it out of my own pocket. The computer that is in front of me, I bought. The flipping everything that pretty much I have done, I have created on my own. I made this what it is right now, and I am damn proud of it. I've been proud of what TLC has become. I am damn proud. I am damn happy for it. And the biggest thing on the planet that's made me happy is that I have fans who have supported me. I want to let you in on something. I want to let you know on this one for this one simple reason. You remember, you know Bleacher Report? That big, giant mogul that is now pretty much a partner of CBS? Guess who helped build that bitch? That's right. Me, asshole. I helped build Bleacher Report. Fred Rashani helped build Bleacher Report. Darius Howard. Shane Howard. Darius Brown. All of us. We created Bleacher Report from the ground up. Ryan Alberti and Martin Ed Dredd, they helped create Bleacher Report. Bleacher Report is the one that started from the bottom. Now it's there. Do we know? Do you know what we got for our troubles? We got a couple of little online medals, medals, and said, "Hey, you know what? Let's play this game. Let's try this." And then we pretty much got booted. We said, "They said thanks for creating us. Thanks for thanks for creating us. Thanks for making us who we are. Thanks for making us pretty much the biggest, baddest motherfuckers on the planet." Now go away. Beautiful how that works, right? We made this what it is, and we were the ones who got pretty much, we got, we got the deuces. Bleacher Report chucked the deuces up to all the originators, all the ones who made this what it is. Bleacher Report wouldn't be the way it is right now if well, it wasn't, wasn't for guys like us, and we didn't get a goddamn paycheck out of it. Not one damn dime. We did it because we loved, we love what we do. We love the sport. We love having the fun. We love writing about it. We love being controversial. Because that's what we do. And the biggest thing in the world that has been like the bell for us is the fact that we are able to do this every day on a daily basis and still reign supreme. And what do we have to show for it now? We got some jackass on some private fucking island telling us who we can be friends with, who we can poke, who we can talk to, who basically what we can post on Facebook, and why. Because he's a scared little bitch. He doesn't have the balls to step up and say, hey, you know what? I respect what you do. I want to help you become what you were meant to be. And now YouTube is the exact same way. Well, let me tell you, motherfucker, something. I ain't stopping. I will continue to post the videos I the videos the way I create them. I will continue to post the shows the way I create them. 
TLC will live on, not just in me, but not just in the fans, and not just for the rest of the way it was started. TLC will continue to thrive, and it will continue to do what it does best. And let me tell you something, but something, Jack. I don't plan on changing it to accommodate your sorry asses. If you got a problem with TLC or the captain himself, I will guarantee this one. You come, you come get some. You come get it. You bring the noise. You bring the pain. Because I guarantee you, you son of a bitch. I will never back down from a fight, and I damn sure will back down a bunch of jerk-off attorneys. You bring your pain. You bring your A-game. Because right now, right here, I'm calling all you bastards out. I will never, ever change what I do to appease your fucking pockets. The day you sign my checks, and the day that you basically tell, basically are the ones putting the putting ink to paper telling me, do it this way, make it happen like this, give this, give us more of this and less of this, and the day that basically you're signing checks, checks to me with my money, putting money in my pocket, then you got the right to sit here and tell me I have to do something. Until then, do your little advertising. Put it on there. I don't care. But you tell those music moguls, all of them, I'm talking about Aftermath, Death Row, Interscope, Interscope, Rockefeller, all those phrases that you said or it might get a little shaky because their music's in my shit. You tell them, shut the fuck up. I made them what they are. And so did everybody else on this planet. Be happy that your music is getting used, used for a greater good and for a bigger purpose. Don't be bitchy, Vince McMahon, if somebody sits here and takes, takes your preview shows and makes them better. Because the whoever is running the preview shows there in Stanford, Connecticut, they suck at it and should be fired for it. And TNA, if you're listening, you got my vote, and I will back you any day of the week. I don't care if anybody says they're the best. There's some jerk off right now on TV right now named John Cena that pretty much isn't even being real anymore. And that's the problem. Nobody has the balls to be real. Nobody has the balls to step up and be real anymore. Well, now you're going to get the real captain. You're not going to get a carbon copy like you get in WWE, like you get in the NFL, like you get from ESPN. You will get loud. You will get brash. You will get obnoxious. You will make, I guarantee you, I will piss off the world if I have to because I started from the bottom. I started from the bottom, and I'm still at the bottom, but I'm a happier motherfucker because of it. And I have no problem showing my face on a fucking camera. These, this here, all these bruises, all these broken parts, they're battle scars. And I love every minute of it. And let me tell you something. You, if you think that I have lost it, you ain't seen nothing yet. Because right now, YouTube, Facebook... You're only doing two things right now. Jack and shit. Jack left town and shit's still running. The captain's coming. And I'm bringing hell with me. Get ready, ladies and gentlemen. Because TLC is going to war. And until YouTube and Facebook gets the point, I will still bring the noise. Even after the fight's over. This is real calling out real everybody out there bring the noise let youtube and facebook know exactly how you feel about them because they are going to hear it from me and i guarantee it to you they ain't going to like what i gotta say and they ain't going to like what i'm going to bring but the fans the ones who know real who recognize real are gonna love it we are ready let the sin begin I'm your captain, and I'm ready to go to war. Loyalty, Are you? respect, a legend, they never kill a woman in the gossip. Loyalty.